Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Civilization Challenge, episode 50, I believe. Um, this episode, we're going to get our biofuel production started, and uh, hopefully, I think I have enough resources now to build, build the windmill, and we'll see what else we have time for. So, let's go ahead, and first thing I think we need to do... Is it compost I want? Compost. Well, maybe it's not. There it is. Compost. Yes, I can build compost by using ash, which I don't have much of, but I have lots of wheat. So let's go ahead and build it out of wheat. So let's go in here. Hopefully we have a slot left in our production facility. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, I'm going to have to expand this soon. Oh, and my train killed me again. Just in case you wanted to know. Whoops. Why do you get to hit open first? I don't think we have that much ash in our system yet. Hopefully I don't run out of dirt. Let's see. Ash. Yeah, we only got 37 ash. Um, post. Did I? Oh, I didn't. As usual, I carefully set the recipe and then didn't actually like set the recipe. Import. There we go. Now we can order compost. Do, 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 do. Find your composition. Wooden command. Compacting drawers. Let's order a stack of that. And we got a bunch of other stuff here to unload. You go unloaded, you get unloaded, you get unloaded. You, you, you. You. You, you. Okay. I was harvesting my farms and put some new recipes in. You can now get steak and chips, the McPam, a peanut butter and strawberry jelly sandwich, and garlic chicken. Yum, yum. Okay, there's our compost. We have our supplier pipe. And we're going to need some of these. Okay. And I. Basically, when I was having problems getting the infinite water source to work, which is standing right here, and got killed by my train. Apparently, you actually have to have a pipe between the infinite water source and the um, intake valve for the water to actually get into the system. So, you learn something new every day. Okay. And so this is now filled with water. Let's go ahead and get this going here. Okay, then we need our wrench. Just a wrench. And put it in partial mode. Keep a stack of that stocked. And 32 saplings. That actually work? Yep, there we go. Okay, so that gets us our biomass. So then we'll take our little pipe here. Doop, doop. 
and we'll set this for extract always and we don't actually have to set this one for input but we'll go ahead and, whoops we'll go ahead and do that okay so that should then go start creating our ethanol so we gotta wait till we get a bucket and I need an empty bucket bucket please one bucket and we can throw that Oh, back in. We'll still need that for a little bit, and I'm not sure why we're still carrying that. And you and you can go back in there. Do, 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 do. Go train, go. Do, 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 do. Waiting to get an actual bucket. By the way, I've been trying to figure fix the tanks. I haven't been able to do it, so. Okay. Now we go ahead and we right click that. So it's set to ethanol. Get all our friendly little pipe. And put that there. And hopefully I can actually get to where I can click on this. That's not what I wanted. Bad computer. Bad. Okay, let's try it with an open hand. Don't know that I can actually see it to click on it. So we'll have to break this temporarily. And set this for extract. Always active. Okay, then we should be able to go over here. Do, 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 do. Look both ways. I swear at the end of this, uh, my train's going to be what kills me the most. Okay, so we have that. Get our good old pressurized pipe here. And connect these up. And this will slowly start filling up. So hopefully we'll have a nice reserve when this empties. Though I could always go and find an, there are a couple other oil wells around. It's just most of them are out in the middle of the ocean. So I may some point go and use them again. I may not. But until then. We'll build up a bio reserve. Okay. So the next thing I want is to work on our windmill. So let's go ahead and put you and you and you away. And you away. Okay, windmill. And so we need eight of these, which means we need, oh, I need treated sticks, which I think I can make. I did a bunch of treated wood, didn't I? One of the mods, and I think it's Tinker's, made changes I'm not happy about, so I may change the configs. It basically, everything has weight now, so you can get overloaded, and wood only stacks to 32. Okay. So now, 
need eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, there's a reason I built that treated wood stuff. Okay, so the next thing we need is a piece of steel. Whoops. Oh, no, next we need to do is actually make those things. Getting ahead of myself there. Okay, that gives us our imprinted windmill. And next we need a kinetic. Connect. Yeah, one of these things. Which means we need one of those, which means we need a bunch of those. So I need two of these. One, two. there then we need one of you <coughs> okay and next do we still have any steel scaffolding we have some steel fence posts. And while we're thinking of it, let's go ahead and get some iron. Because I never seem to have enough steel. Whoops. That many. That's weird. stack size is 11 11 that really doesn't make much sense to me what do I do okay let's go run over here to our last furnace Steel we just made and throw some more into these. 
And I think I mentioned last episode I set that all up to auto smelt. Okay. Now we'll grab our scaffolding. And again, it's stacked to 11. It must be weight. It must stack by weight. It must be the... not going to work. Let's get some other type of block. Let's get Utilidirt. Yay! One stack of Utilidirt, please. And you can see there, dirt's only stacking to 32. So I really don't like that it plays with the stacking limits like that. I understand why. And I... It may grow on me, but right now I'm not very fond of it. And this isn't the building I want to put it on. Shows you how great my brain works. I want to put it on top of my power generation building because we're trying to be more green in our power choices. And I think we'll put it here. I'm mostly choosing it for the I like the way it looks rather than it's not quite as useful as some of the other scaffoldings are. Is, and is this going to be an active place to come down here? I think I'm going to have to be a square in front and up. Let's try it this way. There we go. I do really like the way the immersive engineering stuff looks. It just looks cool to me. And I know I'm not using the wires. I probably should. But uh, they have some disadvantages I don't like, so I haven't been using them. Hardened. What? I have one hardened flux duct left? So let's craft some more of those up. Oops, I'm waiting for it to actually craft the leadstone. There we go. Okay, that should be more than what we need.
course, right now it's running faster because it's just raining out. The thing to remember about these is the power comes out the top. Why running the wires from here would be difficult. Okay, let's go ahead and make a leadstone sail there. A is a buffer and B to make sure it's working. Do I have any energy cells in here? I have a redstone energy cell that's fully charged. Well, that won't do me any good. And I don't think I need a redstone there. A leadstone should do me fine. I don't think it's going to make more than 80 power. There's the basic one. And now we should be able to just order one of these. Get the right type of copper, which I believe is... I think it's that one. Puppy down right there. And it looks like it's filling up at a reasonable rate. And I think it comes through right here. Yep. So we're going to go ahead, and that's an out already, so we're going to go there and put that in there. Why is that empty? And why aren't you running? You're supposed to be running right now. control, emit signal when storage less than 50%. Oh, you were out of power. You still, still should be starting this guy up. You should be emitting a signal. Not very useful. I'm 
getting 80 RF a tick over 55 seconds. So we're getting about 80 RF, it looks like, from that. But why are you not working? You were working before, I could have sworn it. Redstone blocks, if that makes a difference. Because it should send a redstone signal, which should turn it off, right? Redstone. One, please. I don't know if redstone blocks or control. There doesn't seem to be any difference there between them. Hmm. What do I need to make a knot cell? We can try that. Knot gate. any of that stuff. I did at one point because I made a... So let's see if we have any circuit plates. Nope. First thing we need is circuit plates and to get those I just need to smell smooth stone. Let's get some smooth stone. that one fine. That should be enough of those. I may want some of that stuff in the future. of those. And then I'm going to need four of those. Okay, and then I'll need a block, and hopefully this will work, we'll find out. Sometimes you have to put normal redstone in there. Okay, then I need a screwdriver, don't I? Is there a king slime out there somewhere?
King Slime, I sense you. I am slightly encumbered. He's over that way. Okay. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Screwdriver. Almost to that wrapping up point. Let's see if this works. If not, I will figure out off camera next episode and show you what I need to do. Ah, so this is not actually generating a redstone current, or if it is, I'm not seeing it. Or maybe this is now full. Nope, the issue now is our capacitor is mostly full. It's using 321 RF a tick. So hopefully it will work next time, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, oh, yes, remember there will be a world download since this is a the 50th episode. And that, I don't know if I mentioned that before. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you disliked the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine. But please leave a comment saying why you disliked it. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun Minecrafting.